Brothers and sisters in Christ, may the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Today, as we gather together, let us give thanks and praise to the Almighty God who has bestowed upon us his abundant love and mercy. In our devotion today, I want to draw our attention to a powerful verse from the second letter of Paul to the Corinthians. 2 Corinthians 5.17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone. The new is here. Paul, in his letter to the Corinthians, addresses various issues that were present within the church. He emphasizes the ministry of reconciliation and the role of believers as ambassadors for Christ. Paul begins by stating, therefore, if anyone is in Christ. This phrase is of utmost importance as it signifies a personal relationship with our Lord and Savior. Being in Christ is not a mere association but a transformative union with him. It is a state of being born again where we are united with Christ through faith and receive the gift of salvation. Paul goes on to declare, the new creation has come. This is a remarkable truth that speaks to the power of God's redemptive work in our lives. Through Christ, we are made new. Our old sinful nature, our past mistakes, and our brokenness are washed away. We are given a fresh start, a new beginning. How does this verse reflect in our lives today? Brothers and sisters, as followers of Christ, we are called to live in the reality of this new creation. We are no longer bound by our past failures or enslaved by the chains of sin. Instead, we are empowered by the Holy Spirit to live righteous and holy lives, reflecting the character of Christ. In a world that often seeks to define us by our past, this verse reminds us of our identity in Christ. We are not defined by our shortcomings or the labels imposed on us by society. Rather, we are defined by the transformative work of God's grace. We are new creations, made in the image of Christ, with a purpose and calling that extends far beyond our own understanding. As we conclude our devotion, let us bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the truth revealed in this verse. Help us, Lord, to fully embrace our identity as new creations in Christ. Empower us by your Holy Spirit to live lives that reflect your love and grace to the world around us. May we be ambassadors of reconciliation, sharing the message of salvation with those who have yet to experience the transformative power of your grace. In Jesus' most precious name we pray, Amen. Thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for joining me today. May the truth of 2 Corinthians chapter 5 verse 17 continue to resonate in our hearts and guide our lives as we walk with our Savior. Go forth in the assurance of your new creation in Christ, God bless you all.